नमस्ते दिस इज जेवी एंड डॉक्टर विशाल सक्सेना एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन मैथमेटिक्स इन ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द मॉड्यूल मैक्सिम इन एंड मैक्सिमैक्स क्राइटेरियन दिस मॉड्यूल इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्स ऑपरेशन रिसर्च and uh, under the program of uh, bba 6 semester and uh, bba llb 6 semester in the university the today session is about uh, the criterion of uncertainty and uh, the today we are going to discuss on the two criteria the two criterions of uncertainty and uh, these are the maximum and uh, the maximax criterion in the operation research the maximum criterion is also known as uh, the criteria of uh, pessimism and uh, the criteria of uh, maximax uh, is also known as uh, the criteria of uh, optimism these are the two very important parts of the criteria of the decision making under uncertainty and uh, uh, these uh, the two these two criteria will give the optimal decision making in the case of uh, un, uh, in the case of environment of under uncertainty so uncertainty can be taken as uh, in the decision making when uh, a decision maker or the researcher just uh, is uh, familiar about uh, the states of nature but uh, he is uh, not confident uh, for the future outcomes uh, and their probabilities so in these cases uh, means uh, under this uh, under this condition of uncertainty the decision maker is uh, very doubtful or not certain to make a decision confidently and uh, just uh, uh, he know about that uh, the his or her decision may be wrong so under what under these conditions uh, in operation research uh, the decision making just deals uh, with the various criteria the various criteria and uh, by which uh, the researcher the decision maker can make uh, their decisions uh, for the optimal decision making and uh, today we are discussing about these uh, Uh, so these are the two very uh, important parts uh, and uh, uh, just we will discuss these uh, with some examples and therefore we are uh, sharing some uh, slides uh, for the concept of uh, these uh, criteria and uh, their examples uh, so now we take uh, these slides uh, and uh, initial initially we are given that uh, the deci- the decision making under uncertainty it can be uh, defined uh, as uh, a decision problem where decision maker or the researcher is aware of various possible states of nature but uh, has uh, insufficient means uh, he is uh, uh, not having the complete information to assign any probabilities uh, of occurrence to them so decision making under uncertainty just can be taken as a decision problem and uh, where a decision maker is uh, aware is uh, familiar with the possible states of nature but uh, he or she uh, does not have uh, the in the sufficient information for assigning the probabilities of occurrence to them that means uh, he is not uh, sure about uh, the outcomes uh, 
about the outcomes uh, of uh, the states of nature about uh, the outcomes of the action taken by him or her so a decision under uncertainty is when there are many unknowns and no possible no possibility of knowing what could occur in the future to alter the outcome of a decision so we can understand in this way also uh, just uh, uh, a decision under uncertainty is uh, when there are many unknowns so here just uh, we can uh, take uh, different or many unknowns uh, just exist there and uh, no possibility of knowing uh, what could occur in the future just means uh, the future events are not possible future outcomes are not possible to know or to alter the outcome of a decision and uh, there are a variety of criteria that uh, have been proposed for the selection of an optimal course of action under the environment of uncertainty so by uh, this uh, uh, just uh, by the uh, means uh, in the case of the uncertainty we can just take several optimal courses of action under the environment of under uncertainty and uh, now we take uh, uh, these criteria so we are having the two criteria today in the session the first uh, is maximum criterion and uh, it is also known as the pessimist criterion and uh, this criteria also known as the criteria of pessimism and uh, can be used uh, when the decision maker is pessimistic about the future so uh, just uh, this can be applicable uh, when the decision maker is pessimistic uh, about the future and uh, maximum criterion that uh, implies uh, that means uh, it is a maximization of the minimum payoff so just uh, uh, to find the maximum criterion we have to find the maximum value uh, from the minimum payoffs uh, taken along uh, the different courses of action along for each possible course of action so the pessimistic decision maker <coughs> locates the minimum payoff for each possible courses of action so first uh, we have to find the minimum payoff for every possible course of action and then uh, maximum of these uh, minimum payoff is identified and uh, the corresponding course of action is selected so just maximum uh, maximum will be uh, taken maximum will be chosen uh, from these minimum payoffs uh, and uh, uh, the corresponding course of action is uh, uh, the required uh, for the optimal uh, decision maker and uh, this uh, example will demonstrate the the whole procedure uh, let there be a situation in which a decision maker has three possible alternatives a1 a2 and a3 and where the outcome of each of them can be affected by the occurrence of any one of the four possible events so in this example there are uh, just three possible alternatives uh, for a decision maker and uh, these uh, Uh, just uh, where the outcomes of each of them alternatives uh, uh, will be affected by the uh, one of the four events s1 s2 s3 and s4 so this uh, table is given that uh, and uh, we can see actions are given that uh, a1 a2 a3 and events are given that s1 s2 s3 s4 so first of all we have to find the minimum payoff the minimum payoff is given by um uh, is given in the rows uh, that is for the different actions uh, 12 17 and 15 so these are the minimum payoffs uh, and the maxi min criteria which is uh, just known as also uh, the pessimism criteria and this will be given by the maximum value of all these minimum payoffs so the maximum value from all the minimum payoffs is uh, the 17 and therefore 17 is the maximum from the minimum payoffs uh, and uh, we can say the optimal action is uh, the a2 uh, action is optimal and uh, this can be taken as answer next uh, is the maximax criterion the maximax criterion is uh, also known as the optimistic criterion and uh, 
it is a criterion uh, it is a criteria of uh, the uh, optim uh, of the decision making under uncertainty so maximax is one more uh, is another different uh, uh, criteria for the decision making under uncertainty and uh, this criterion uh, is called optimism and uh, can be used when the decision maker is optimistic about the future or about the future event so uh, just uh, this can be applicable for the decision maker when uh, he will be optimistic when he is optimistic about the future event uh, and the maximax criterion can be taken as can be taken as uh, can be determined by the maximum value of all the maximum payoffs so it can be taken as uh, the maximum value of the maximum payoffs uh, and uh, this uh, the optimistic decision maker locates first uh, the maximum payoff for each possible course of action so uh, again the decision maker will first uh, find out uh, the the maximum payoffs uh, for every course of action and uh, the maximum of uh, now when he uh, will locate the maximum payoff uh, for all possible course of action then he has to find uh, uh, he or she has to find uh, the maximum of uh, these payoffs uh, means uh, maximum of these uh, selected payoffs uh, and uh, uh, just uh, by this he, he or she can find uh, the optimal course of action and uh, <coughs> the optimal course of action is the uh, above example based on this criterion is a3 so here in the last example just we have taken uh, previously uh, just uh, in this example we can see a3 is given that uh, the optimal course of action by this criteria of maximax and uh, now we can see the table again and uh, in this table uh, we can see a1 a2 a3 are the actions uh, and these are the four s1 s2 s3 and s4 are the events uh. so uh, for actually applying this maxi uh, max criterion the optimistic criterion first uh, we have to find uh, all the maximum payoffs uh, the maximum payoffs uh, are along the 27 45 and 52 so these are the uh, 27 45 and 52 are the maximum payoffs uh, for these uh, uh, different uh, three actions uh, and uh, <coughs> uh, just uh, as all we know that uh, the optimistic criterion will be uh, just given by the maximax criterion and uh, the maximum value from all these maximum payoffs uh, is uh, the 52 so maximum is 52 uh, from all these uh, maximum payoffs uh, and therefore uh, it is along the a3 course of action and therefore a3 is the optimal course of action uh, for this uh, uh, so this is uh, just uh, uh, example this question and uh, uh, so we have uh, we can see there uh, in the this uh, example we have just found uh, we have determined the optimal course of action by the three by the two different concepts uh, uh, one is here uh, the pessimism and one is the optimism so we are having the different two uh, we have we are having the two different answers uh, and uh, so this is uh, uh, the possibility of getting the answer different uh, by the two different procedures uh, and uh, uh, just uh, we have seen today uh, that the two uh, criterion for the uh, decision making under uncertainty and uh, but it is a very important session and uh, dealing with the two criteria for decision making under uncertainty and how just uh, we have determined uh, the the answer and the course of action for the optimal decision making and uh, now students are advised uh, to practice uh, uh, practice uh, for the numericals uh, and understand the concept of this uh, topic uh, and uh, uh, practice for also the objective as well as the subjective questions thank you